Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be digitizing this cute little flower. I'm going to start off by using digitize close shape. So we use left click for corner points and right click for um, curves. And I'm going to go around this whole flower and do the same thing. You guys, I'm not a professional, I'm self-taught, so um, please don't come at me in the comments. And as you can see with this flower, it didn't turn out pretty great, so you can always reshape it. Um, you just click reshape in the corner up top and you drag the nodes how you want it. And if there isn't a node that you want to drag, you just click on it and um, a node will pop up. And if it's the node with the left, like a corner node, you can just click space bar and it'll be the opposite node. So to give this guy an outline, I went on tool boxes, I put create outline and offset. I made sure it was a set and stitch. And this is at the end you guys, but I'm just going to make do it right now anyway. And I'm going to make it a little thicker, so I'll put 09. Always give your objects an outline, it definitely gives it a cleaner look. Moving on, we're going to do those little black shapes right there. Um, so go back to digitize, digitize close shape. Um, make sure it's a tatami stitch and that it's black, just so you don't have to do it later. And I'm going to put for pattern, I'm going to click um, pattern number 10. So I'm going to do left click, go to the right side, left click again, left click up and then two right clicks, right and right to give it a curved shape and then enter. So I'm basically going to do that for the rest of these. So left click, left, left, right, right, enter. Next, left, left, right, right, enter. Left, right, right, left, left, enter. And so on and so forth. Hopefully I didn't confuse you guys there. So just um, left click for point edges and right click for um, those, those round edges. And if you don't like the way it turns out, you can always redo it or just reshape it. Alright, now that that's done, I'm going to go in between all of them and kind of reshape them to make sure they're meeting the edges there. And now I want to get the outline of that circle. So I'm going to click circle, um, outline, satin stitch, and go in the center there and click it. And you can choose the size you want and click enter. So I wanted it a little thicker, so I'm going to click on it and go down to width. And instead of 0.098, I'm going to put 0.1, just not that much thicker, but definitely makes it a little nicer. Moving on to the eyes, same thing, click circle or oval. And you just click on it and give the eyes that little oval shape. And I don't do this twice, I just duplicate it. Click T for true view, that way you can see the design underneath what you're working with. So I duplicated it and I dragged it to the other side. And same thing for the edges of his mouth, I went to standard shapes, I clicked to the heart shape. And I put one to the right and then I duplicated it, I mirrored it, and laid one on the other side. TrueView makes everything easier, so if you click T on your keyboard, you can see what you're working with underneath. And anything small, you guys, like these hearts or the eyes or the outlines, always make it satin. It definitely gives it a cleaner look. And it's less stitches. Alright, so I dragged it to the other side and I believe they needed to be a little bigger, so I made it 10% larger. And I'm just playing with it, moving it around, making sure it's at the right spot. Alright, and now that that's over with, I'm going to go to digitized blocks. And I'm going to do the smiley part of his mouth. And since it's curved, we're doing right click, right click. And this is a satin stitch, you guys. It won't look too hot if it's a tatami stitch. Click enter and don't worry about it if it doesn't look too great, you can always go in and fix it. I went in and gave it some stitch angles. And then anything you need to fix, you can just click the reshape button. Zooming in, I clicked reshape and then I added a node right there in the middle and I moved it downwards and I did that for the rest to give that nice clean shape. Oh, and adding a node is super simple. Right click on the area that you want it to be and um, it'll appear. And I'm fixing these few little edges right here. 
and that's about it so i clicked design to look at my overall view and then i went to sequence to make sure everything is in the order that i like it to be All right, I'm gonna save it as a PES file and plug it into my machine and stitch it out for you guys. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna test out this design real quick. I cut up some fabric. All right, everyone, it's done embroidering. I'm gonna take it out. Looks good. I just have a little edges that I have to go back and fix, which is an easy fix. It's not too big of a deal. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you don't mind giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel, it'll mean the world to us. Thank you.